In this tip and trick, we're going to have a look at using Armates in assemblies to streamline the design process. In this assembly over here, you will notice that I have a pressure vessel, and this pressure vessel has an Armate applied to its front flange. The manhole cover also has an Armate, and you'll see I have an option to apply an automatic Armate. As soon as I do that, it brings in the manhole cover and it mates it directly on top of the flange of the tank. Eye mates are basically created in two halves, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at applying the two halves to both the pressure vessel and the manhole cover. So if we go into the manhole, I mean to the pressure vessel first, we can click on create an eye mate. This is on your manage tab, and I've gone and selected that outside flange and applied an insert. You'll notice it has an eye mate glyph, and um, if we just rotate this around and click on the eye mate glyph you'll see it shows me the insert and the direction. If I go across to the manhole cover, um, I can go and apply the same one. So I go into my Manage tab and iMate and choose Insert. Choose the edge, you'll see I get the iMate come up and I get the little iMate glyph. And if I click on that glyph, you'll see it shows me the direction and the insert. If I save that and I um, go into a little pre-assembled assembly here, I have the pressure vessel in there. And um, I can go and have a look at the iMate on this tank. If I click on View iMate Cliffs, as soon as you click on the tank itself, you'll see the iMate come up. And I can now go and place... We just zoom back up on that there I can go and place the <coughs> manhole cover notice I've got the um, interactive I made placed and as soon as I choose the component it automatically makes that for me and that's the basics of I thank you very much for having a look